Hi, I'm Julian and I'm the composer of Pinocchio. And I'm Joel, the lyricist. And together, we are the songwriting duo behind the music of Pinocchio. Early in the year, Thomas sat us down and brainstormed through the whole play with us. Mm -hmm. So he really gave us the blueprint to build on. And then, actually, throughout the, the period when we were writing, sometimes Joel would send me voice memos of certain outlines of tunes. I would suggest lyrics and we would tell Thomas, hey, how about these lines or these stage directions? So really, at the end, the book and the music and the lyrics to me yeah. are synonymous. Very, very well integrated. Yeah. yeah. What I like about this telling of Pinocchio is that the central Part of it is a father-son relationship and about what it means to be a good parent and what it means to be a good and kind person and I think it sort of shines through in many of the songs in, across the, the whole musical and you know, it's, I, I think the, 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 the show says it's not easy, you're gonna slip up but it's about surrounding yourself with good people um, and learning from your mistakes uh, and then pulling yourself up and carrying on to try another day. The telepathy, <laughs> yeah, it feels it's very effortless. Like we understand each other, we have a kind of grammar for working each other by this point. I have an intuitive sense of what tickles his ear and how he mindset it. Like, do you feel the same way? Yeah, <laughs> I, Joel totally gets it. I like that he's very specific about character and dramatic shape. You know, so. When writing with him, it's never about perfect rhyme and neat structures and hummable tunes. It's always character driving the story forward. Mm. And it's always a treat to get the demos <laughs> in my <laughs> inbox. Like I, For weeks, I was just listening to the score uh, on loop. <laughs> Demo is always my orchestration with my voice first. Yeah. <laughs> So, but it's like sick, sick of my voice. No, I'm not. I'll never be sick of your voice. It's like getting a little like uh, a letter in, the, in your inbox. <laughs> I'm always very inspired by my collaborators, the, the work of my collaborators. So Thomas's book, Joel's lyrics, Pam's vision for the piece, even the very nurturing way that uh, our vocal coaches Irene Jensen and Audrey Jensen work with the children, and Gino's choreography as well. Uh, when I saw Gino prepare for the audition, I thought, okay, there must be something in the score that allows his style to shine. Mm. Uh, when I knew I couldn't uh, music direct Pinocchio, there was only one music director that I called, uh, Joel Na. It's really amazing and I knew that he would take care of the music as if it was his own. So actually, composing Pinocchio for me, I felt a little bit like Geppetto. You know? Creating something with all of your heart and then learning to let it go and, and trusting that it will take on new life in the hands of the cast, the musicians mm. led by Pam and Joel. There are definitely plenty of local references mm -hmm. and current references. Mm -hmm. One of our characters loves K-pop and loves TikTok. It's the spirit of our times, right? And we wrote a pretty great rap. <laughs> <laughs> On a we rap, yeah. yeah. And at the same time, we found a, a, a number of ways to slide in a lot of like topical references, satirical jabs that are kind of like expected of the form. <laughs> so it's uh, going to be a fun ride for the adults as well. I've always strived for a very classic sound mm. because I, I think about the songs I grew up with and the songs that I love. I remember the words, the tunes, the orchestrations, not because they were current at the time, mm. but because they were timeless. So I'm always thinking of the child who watches the show today and, and loves the music and I hope that we've created something that this child will continue to love even when he or she grows up.